Are you confused between these change frameworks? Don't worry, we're gonna take a look at all of them. Angular, a front-end TypeScript-based web application framework that built by Google, release date 2016. Global websites using Angular, Gmail, PayPal, and Upwork. Let's take a look at pros and cons. Pros. It communicates any changes to the model immediately. Server performance. It's using caching system. Highly testable product. Offers Jasmine, Karma, and Protractor. MVVM and MVC architecture. Cons. JavaScript support mandatory. Inexperience with MVC. If you are not familiar with MVC architecture, then it's not a good choice for you. Difficult learning and scopes might be complex if you are a beginner. How to use? You can use Angular using this command. ReactJS, a JavaScript library for building user interfaces built by Facebook. And yeah, this is a library, but I put it in this list because it's so popular. Release date 2013 and global websites using React, Uber, Airbnb, and Netflix. Let's take a look at pros and cons. Pros, easy to learn and use, reusable component, performance enhancement, known to be SEO friendly because it's reducing loading time and it's JavaScript library, you can combine it with other JS libraries and build a masterpiece. Cons, problem with SEO, Google have problems with indexing websites that were rendered on the client side. And finally, JSX syntax. Many developers have problem with JSX syntax, it might be hard for them. How to use, first install Node.js and run these commands. Electron.js build cross-platform desktop apps with JavaScript, HTML, and CSS, developed by GitHub, released in 2013, and global websites using Electron, WhatsApp, Discord, Spotify, Microsoft, and Slack. Let's take a look at pros and cons. Pros, easy to make rich cross-platform desktop applications, great looking apps such as Slack and Visual Studio Code, it's open source, you can save time and money, desirable performance. Cons, high resource consumption. It's large, somewhat insecure, allows users to see the inside the application easily. How to use? You can run these commands. Vue.js, a progressive framework for building user interfaces built by Ivan Yu, release date 2014, global websites using Vue.js. Apple, GitLab, and Adobe. Let's take a look at pros and cons. Pros, better performance with smaller size, lightweight, 20 kilobytes, easy development, reactivity, simplicity, and learning curve. Cons, language barrier, smaller number of components and plugins. Some code plugins are not written in English. How to use, first install Node.js and run this command. React Native, a framework for building native apps with React developed by Facebook, released in 2015. Companies that use React Native, Slack, IBM, Skype, Instagram, Uber, and Discord. Let's take a look at pros and cons. Pros, learn once, write everywhere, native iOS components, speed up the app development process, live and hot reloading, code reviews, and pre-developed components. Cons. Performance is still lower than native, hard to debug, inferior Android support. How to use? Run these commands. Ember.js, a JavaScript framework for creating ambitious web apps, built by Ember Core Team, released in 2011. Global websites using Ember, Twitch, and LinkedIn. Let's take a look at pros and cons. Pros, minimal need for configuration, built-in router built-in data layer which makes it super simple to keep the UI in sync with the backend. Cons, sluggishness in popularity. Beginner developers might find Ember to be quite challenging to master. Too large for small projects, over 69 kilobytes. How to use, first install Node.js and run these commands. Next.js, a small framework for server-rendered universal JavaScript apps, developed by Versal, released in 2016, global websites using Next.js, OpenSea, CoinMarketCap, and IMDb. Let's take a look at pros and cons. Pros, zero setup, built with React, automatic server rendering and code splitting, great for SEO. 
great community support and great for UX. Cons. Poor plugin ecosystem. No built-in state manager. Routing problems. How to use. Run these commands. Bootstrap. Bootstrap is the most popular HTML, CSS, and JS framework for developing responsive, mobile-first projects on the web. Developed by Bootstrap Core Team. Release date 2011. Global websites using Bootstrap. Twitter, Udemy, Mastercard, and SpaceX. Let's take a look at pros and cons. Pros. Responsiveness. UI competence. Great docs. Helps you avoid jQuery plugin soup. Great grid system. Cons. Its naming scheme can be confusing. You may become too reliant on it. How to use. For npm, npm install bootstrap. For CDN, get the latest version from getbootstrap.com. Gatsby. Gatsby.js is a React.js based GraphQL powered static site generator. Release date 2017. Global websites using Gatsby. Snapchat and Tinder. Let's take a look at pros and cons. Pros. Incredible performance. Search engine optimization based on React.js, GraphQL power, and security. Cons Build times No WordPress style plugins. The more content you have, the longer the build time will be. How to use Run these commands. Svelte.js, a UI framework that compiles into tiny standalone JavaScript modules developed by Rich Harris, released in 2016, global websites using Svelte.js, Spotify Brave browser. Let's take a look at pros and cons. Pros Performance Fast as vanilla JS, lightweight, very easy for beginners. Reactivity Cons isn't that popular, it has not many dev tools stands without major support. How to use? Run these commands. Aurelia.js, next generation JavaScript framework written with ES6 and ES7, integrates with web components, no external dependencies except polyfills, developed by Rob Isenberg. Release date 2016, global website using Aurelia, Microsoft. Let's take a look at pros and cons. Pros, easy to use, simple with convention. Full support for TypeScript built-in. Plays well with other frameworks like React. I know React is not a framework. Provides dependency injection. Cons, small community. No big website built with it yet. Two-way data binding. How to use. Run these commands. Mithril, client-side MVC framework. A tool to organize code in a way that is easy to think about and to maintain. Originally written by Leo Hurry, release date 2015, global website using Mithril, Nike. Let's take a look at pros and cons. Pros, lightweight, 12 kilobytes, faster than React, MVC architecture, cons, small API makes it difficult to work with large and complex projects. The community of Mithril is short. How to use, first install Node.js and follow this structure. XJS, a comprehensive JavaScript framework for building data-intensive applications, developed by Jack Slocum, released in 2007. Global websites using XJS, zero. Pros and cons, includes over 100 pre-integrated and tested high-performance UI components. Simple and easy to start with, multiple built-in themes with easy extensibility integration with other frameworks. Cons. The license for using the dynamic charting components is expensive. The free version comes with limited support and sometimes you need to write your own code just to fix XJS release bugs. Stimulus.js, a modest JavaScript framework for the HTML you already have by Basecamp, released in 2017. Global websites using Stimulus, I found no popular website built by Stimulus. No JavaScript on backend. Simple and easy to start with. Balance between frontend and backend. Cons. Short community. Not much data on internet. How to use Stimulus. Check Stimulus website. 
a full guide is available on the website. Testing Frameworks Mocha.js, a simple, flexible, fun JavaScript test framework for Node.js and the browser, released in 2011. Who is using Mocha? Coursera and Asana. Let's take a look at pros and cons. Pros. Promise support. Clear and simple API. Highly extensible and flexible. Tests are run serially. Supports both behavior-driven development and test-driven development. Cons. Auto-mocking and snapshots tests are not easy. Unlike JS, which works as a single and independent framework, Mocha requires more configuration. How to use? Use these commands. Jasmine, Domless Simple JavaScript Testing Framework. Release date 2010. Who is using Jasmine? GitLab and Walmart. Let's take a look at pros and cons. Pros can also be used for TDD. No dependencies, not even dumb. Compatible with almost every framework or library of your choice. Has built-in assertion methods that helps in improving the readability of the tests. The Jasmine BDD library makes it easy to define tests, run them, and integrate them with JS Hint. Cons. Asynchronous testing is difficult to achieve with Jasmine. It supports snapshot testing by using the Jasmine snapshot library. However, the integration isn't that easy. Setup is a bit complex. For using it in Node.js, you can follow this structure. For using Jasmine in browser, you can follow this structure. JS.js Painless JavaScript unit testing developed by Facebook. Release date 2016. Who's using Jest? Airbnb, Amazon, Facebook, and Instagram. Let's take a look at pros and cons. Pros provides pre-commit hooks that allow running only relevant tests or running tests that have changed after the last commit. Mock by default makes testing much simpler. Testing React Native apps. Fast performing test automation framework where isolated tests are executed by performing parallel testing in their process supports execution of a smart visual regression test by capturing screenshots. Cons Compared to Jasmine and other frameworks, not many libraries or tooling are supported by Jest. Leveraging automocking can make tests slow. Snapshot testing with Jest is so feasible for larger snapshot files containing thousands of lines. How to use in Node.js You can follow this structure. Backend JavaScript Frameworks Express.js Express is a backend web application framework for Node.js, release date 2010. Who is using Express.js, PayPal, and IBM? Let's take a look at pros and cons. Pros Robust routing, middlewares, super high test coverage, flexible, lightweight, and adjustable. Ideal option for the short app development cycle. Cons Organization of code is difficult. Single-threaded nature of Node.js might result in callback hell if implemented improperly. Unopinionated nature may result in improper security implementation. How to use npm install express and here's an example you can use it. Hoppy, the simple secure framework developers trust who is using Hoppy. Sales trip. Let's take a look at pros and cons. Pros. Blocks error messages with may leak data or echo back unsecure loopholes. Improves the web application performance through continuous caching. Accessibility to pre-built authentication and authorization APIs. Helps developers to write manageable, controllable, and distributable code. Offers rapid features development and quicker identification of bots to fix through customized modules. Cons Some of the Hoppy specific modules and plugins such as Catbox, Joy, Boom, and etc. are not compatible with Express and Connect. Creation of endpoints and testing is manual due to lack of automation. How to use Run these commands. Here's an example of Hoppy. 
Toolkit. Ionic Framework, a beautiful front-end framework for developing cross-platform apps with web technologies like Angular and React. Release date 2013. Who is using Ionic, NBC and EA? Let's take a look at pros and cons. It sold JavaScript, HTML and CSS. Can be developed mostly in the browser, except for native phone functionality, which you have to debug using a phone. Can develop for both iOS and Android at once. Plenty of UI components available and easy to use. Cards, buttons, toggles, segments, models, inputs, list, row, column, grid, and etc. Lots of plugins that allow the use of smartphone. Only features like cameras, fingerprints, scanners, NFC, geolocation, sending analysis to Firebase, push notifications, and deep links. Cons Builds can randomly crash without any reason. Native plugins are unstable and can conflict with each other, but necessary to solve lack of features available in Ionic by default. Application size may be large. Debugging an Ionic application can be time-consuming and difficult. How to use? Visit this website and build your Ionic app. Full Stack Framework Meteor, an ultra simple, database everywhere, data on the wire, pure JavaScript web framework, released in 2012. Who is using Meteor, Appify, Hitorque, and Comptia? Let's take a look at pros and cons. Pros Full stack, one language, data synchronization, real time. By Meteor, one can easily convert web apps into smartphone apps. You don't have to spend much time over configuration. Cons In Meteor, a website may run slowly while building large projects. SQL support in Meteor isn't that good. Lacks inbuilt support for PWA which refers to progressive web applications. How to use npm install g meteor all right if you enjoyed the video please make sure to subscribe my channel the simon youtube channel and i see you in the next video